Welcome to my website, Perfect Laces. This website is designed specifically for the long snapper, the vital man in your kicking game. Hi, I'm Coach Zauner, former special teams coach with the Minnesota Vikings, Baltimore Ravens, and Arizona Cardinals. I have now coached, consulted, and trained 22 pro bowlers and over 100 professional kicking specialists many of which have been long snappers. Also during my NFL coaching career, I have been associated with five NFL kicking records, many of those which have now been broken, but three of those were associated with the field goal team. In 1994, Fouad Revez made 31 consecutive field goals. And in 1998, Gary Anderson broke that record with 40 consecutive field goals and had a perfect season. Many times the kickers get credit for the records, but the one man that goes unnoticed is the long snapper. And that long snapper was Mike Morris. This website is dedicated to guys like Mike Morris who snapped the perfect laces for those records. The vital man in your kicking game. The snapper is many times Mr. Irrelevant. He is needed but seldom recognized for his contribution on most high school and college teams. I personally learned early in my playing and coaching careers that I was only as good as a man snapping the ball to me because most good punts and good kicks start with a good snap and most bad kicks or punts start with a bad snap. So to me, in my coaching career, the vital man in my kicking game was always the long snapper. So if you're a snapper or a coach and you're interested about how to coach perfect laces or more information about the long snapper, feel free to look at the videos on this website. Enjoy this website, Perfect Laces. In this section of my website, this is my story about how I learned to coach and teach snapping perfect laces. We start with back in the early 1970s when I was a free agent kicker and punter trying out with the Minnesota Vikings. I went for a tryout with the Minnesota Vikings and Paul Krause, who was a Pro Bowl right, Hall of Fame safety was the holder, and the center and long snapper was Mick Tinglehoff. During my tryout, as we were warming up, Mick was snapping the ball and the laces were not coming out. And he asked Paul where the laces were coming out, and Paul says, to the back. Mick said, Paul, move back a little further, and all of a sudden the snaps were coming, and they were coming laces up. Perfect laces. Now, I took notice of that, and then as my tryout continued, I hit 20 of 21 field goals, and every time the snaps were just perfect, the ball was down, I kicked it through, I had a great day. And the only reason I had a great day, because... Mick was perfect and Paul was perfect. When I got to camp, I asked Mick how he did that, how he snapped perfect laces. And he said, well, the teaching points basically were that if I grab the laces and I put the ball on the line, if I snap the ball the same way, if the holder would catch it at the same spot every time, the laces would come up perfect. I went, boy, that's neat. So that's kind of how I learned and remember teaching perfect laces was from McTinglehoff. Now, as a coach, and as my coaching career went on, I taught everybody to snap perfect laces at seven yards. And every time guys would hold the laces, and the laces would pretty much, from the line of scrimmage to catching it at seven, or maybe just a little more, seven and a foot, the laces would always come up. As I went around the country talking about how to snap perfect laces, everybody thought that was great. Now, as I got into college as a coach, every kicker was kicking on a tee or a block. So it was no problem hitting perfect laces, getting great elevation. Then they changed the college rule where nobody could use a block. They had now had to kick off the ground just like in the NFL. Well, what was starting to happen with a lot of kickers is balls were getting blocked up the middle. So me as a coach, I said, why not move the distance back from seven to maybe eight to have that one yard extra elevation 
so kicks wouldn't get blocked up the middle. So I had to reteach or relearn how to snap perfect laces at eight yards. So I was one of the first that I know of to snap perfect laces at eight. So again, the teaching points were grab the laces, put it on the line, snap the ball, and the holder catch the back nose at eight yards so the ball would come out right there with perfect laces. Now, during a camp in the summer, I was talking about hitting perfect laces at eight yards, and the only kicker in the Hall of Fame, Jan Stenerud, noticed what I was coaching. And Jan's response to us is, hey, you're way back at eight yards, and I basically told him the reason about the block kicks and everything else. Now, he's the only kicker in the Hall of Fame and kicked 68%, but he said to me, most of his misses were blocks. And he says, I, guess, I wish I would have had somebody do that for me because then, again, my percentage would be greater. But again, he's in the Hall of Fame still with 68%. But most field goal kickers today are kicking in the middle, middle 80% and a lot of them are kicking 90% in the NFL. Now, to continue my story about perfect laces, so as I now started coaching in camps and around the country and in the NFL, I found out that even in the NFL, all the snappers I had could grab the laces with the same line, start the ball on the line with the same snap and rhythm and technique, could hit perfect laces at eight yards. Now, I always wanted my snapper to hold the laces just like a quarterback. Now, there were other coaches that were saying, well, if you couldn't hit perfect laces, you know, you would go and hold the ball on the bottom, right? or move the laces eighth of a turn or a quarter turn or whatever it was and to hit perfect laces. Now, I always liked eight yards, but I got to the point that even some of the snappers I had couldn't get it at eight yards, so we would move the distance to seven and two-thirds or sometimes even eight and a third. So today what has happened is most snappers can snap at eight yards holding the laces. Other coaches will take and change the laces and still get them at whatever distance they want. And most coaches in the NFL will go eight. Some will be seven and two thirds. Some might even be eight and a third. But anyways, that's kind of the story on perfect laces. But the, the key to any kicker, all right, is having a great snapper. And I learned that early in my playing career, continued in my coaching career. And today as a consultant, what I try to pass on to everybody is the art of snapping perfect laces. So go around the website, enjoy the different videos of me coaching different athletes on how to snap perfect laces by holding the laces or sometimes not holding the laces. But again, enjoy this website. It will make you a better snapper and will make you a better coach.